Um, we'll go ahead and move on to our update from Indian Health Service provided by Rose Wiaki, and I'm very proud to introduce her to you today. Dr. Rose Wiaki is a member of the Navajo Nation. Dr. Wiaki received her Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology with a minor in alcohol and drug studies from Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles and her PhD in clinical psychology with an emphasis in multicultural community clinical issues from the California School of Professional Psychology in Los Angeles in June 1998. She is currently the director for the Indian Health Service Headquarters Division of Behavioral Health in the Office of Clinical and Preventative Services. Prior to her current position, she served as acting, acting deputy director and public health advisor. She has also served as the behavioral health consultant for the California Area Indian Health Service and as the Administrative Clinical Director for United American Indian Involvement, Incorporated. Dr. Wiaki has served on numerous boards at local, state, and federal level, advocating on behalf of American Indian issues, including the APA Committee on Ethnic Minority Affairs, Los Angeles City County Native American Indian Commission, and the Indian Health Service National Suicide Prevention Committee, the Indian Health Service Youth Regional Treatment Center Task Force, the Steering Committee for the One Sky Center, and the Steering Committee for the California Rural Indian Health Board Access to Recovery Program. She's been involved in administrative program development, research, teaching, and direct services for the American Indian community. She was the recipient of the American Psychological Association Early Career Award in the public interest in 2006. So I welcome Rose to our presentation team. Rose, you can go ahead and get started. Thank you. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Um, first, I just wanted to um, just share with uh, uh, those of you on the line in terms of the four priorities for Indian Health Service um, and really the work of our division and some of the, the projects that I, and initiatives that I'll share with you uh, over the next few minutes um, really are focusing on addressing these four uh, major priorities, and these are just some of the strategies that we're utilizing to, to um, focus our efforts. Uh, the first is to renew and strengthen our partnership with tribes. Uh, the second priority is in the context of national health insurance reform to bring reform to IHS. The third is to improve the quality of and access to care. And the fourth priority area is to make all our work accountable, transparent, fair, and inclusive. And so um, in terms of the, the various initiatives, I'm just going to go over um, some of the, the major initiatives that we currently have in place. Uh, one of the first is the methamphetamine and suicide prevention initiative. Um, this initiative in fiscal year uh, 2010 was funded with approximately $16.3 million, and we have funded over 100 methamphetamine and suicide prevention uh, programs throughout Indian country, and most of those have uh, completed their, their first year of, of uh, program imp implementation. And so we're very excited to, to hear back from these programs about the evidence-based as well as practice-based uh, programs that they have been implementing in their communities. Um, as part of that effort, when we're looking at methamphetamine and suicide prevention, uh, we've been developing uh, partnerships uh, uh, with other federal agencies who also fund these uh, types of initiatives, including the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs, and Bureau of Indian Education. Uh, one, to coordinate uh, the activities that we're doing around this initiative, uh, but also to ensure that we're not uh, duplicating efforts. Another um, initiative that we have is the Domestic Violence Prevention Initiative. In fiscal year 2010, uh, we were appropriated uh, $10 million to fund the Domestic Violence Prevention Initiative. And really, this uh, initiative supports a national effort by IHS to address domestic violence and sexual assault uh, within American Indian and Alaska Native communities. So these funds have uh, been targeted towards prevention and intervention programs throughout Indian country who have the greatest need for these types of services and programs. Um, now, this program we recently awarded just in the past couple of months, so programs are just getting uh, started with implementing their domestic violence and sexual assault um, programs throughout Indian country. As part of this, uh, it not only addresses uh, outreach efforts and victim ag advocacy and intervention, but also is focused on uh, coordination and implementation of sexual assault nurse examiner, 
sexual assault forensic examiner, and sexual assault response teams. So again, uh, as we move into actually implementing these th programs throughout Indian Country, we'll be pleased to learn about all the, the various activities that the various programs will be implementing and again sharing uh, what evidence-based and practice-based uh, programs have been um, developed and implemented. Um, just some uh, recent updates. Um, one of the things that uh, we've been working on over the past year um, is uh, two uh, strategic plans, one that focuses on behavioral health and one that focuses on suicide prevention. Uh, we do have a tribal advisory committee for the Division of Behavioral Health and IHS. It's called the National Tribal Advisory Committee on Behavioral Health, and it's made up of elected tribal leaders from each of the 12 IHS regions. Um, the uh, National Tribal Advisory Committee has been uh, receiving input on both of these strategic plans from tribal leaders and tribal communities and is currently working on incorporating those comments. And so we're hopeful that in this coming year uh, that we will be able to share both of those strategic plans addressing behavioral health and suicide prevention. And uh, just a final update um, is I also wanted to share with you just uh, in terms of the focus um, and attention on suicide prevention and coordinating our efforts uh, in partnership with tribes and other federal partners and, and uh, non-federal partners. Um, recently, some of you may have seen a press release as well as a tribal leader letter announcing the partnership between Indian Health Service, the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, Bureau of Indian Affairs and Bureau of Indian Education. And uh, what the tribal leader letter and press release outlined is that we are currently um, uh, having 10 regional suicide prevention listening sessions throughout the country. And they basically cover all of the IHS and BIA regions. Uh, we just had our first one uh, this past Monday uh, in the Navajo region. But really the purpose of these listening sessions is just that, to listen and to get the feedback and comments and recommendations from tribal leaders and tribal community members about how we can uh, work together um, and develop recommendations and strategy to address the, the issue of suicide in Indian country. As part of this effort, uh, we'll be partnering with many, many um, individuals and organizations uh, across the country to hold a national suicide prevention conference in this coming year. Um, and more information will, um, on the specific dates and location of that uh, conference will be forthcoming. But if you are interested in finding out uh, more about the suicide prevention listening session, you may contact me. There's also information that's available on the main page of the Indian Health Service website at www.ihs.gov, and you can uh, uh, take a look at the listing of the various uh, nine remaining listening sessions. Uh, if you're not able to participate in the listening session that's in your area, we still would be happy to hear your feedback or comments, and I'd be more than welcome to, to receive calls or written comments via email or mail um, uh, to provide your input on this important topic. And I think that's about it as far as our major updates.